Visvim. Is Visvim worth it? This is a question which I often hear when people talk about Visvim. But what even is Visvim? Let's go to a website and find out together. Many people say Visvim is a brand which is heavily inspired by Americana and folk style. While this is true to a certain extent, Visvim is much more than that. If you just look at their 2019-30 lookbook, you see that all the pictures were taken by film. How come? Why aren't they using the newest and best DSLRs or mirrorless cameras? The answer is simple, yet not obvious. Film pictures are able to give you an incredible atmosphere, while new technologies like the mirrorless cameras just lack of that. This lookbook is just how Hikamura explains his own product. It is supposed to be a language which everyone understands. He puts emphasis on simplicity. He wants his product to have soul and spirit. He wants to invoke special feelings in the consumer while only using natural dyeing processes. Wait, this is exactly like the Japanese thinking of Wabi Zabi. If you do not know Wabi Zabi, you may have heard of minimalism. They are very similar in the aspect of essentialism. Design-wise they are quite the opposite though. You could describe minimalistic design as cold, while Wabi Zabi is really warm. While other brands nowadays advertise with minimalistic design, none of them want you to be a minimalist. They want you to consume as much as possible, lure you in with cheap prices, hence why their things will easily break, but not with them. Visvim is a brand which follows the ideas of Wabi Zabi, not only design-wise, but also in the brand philosophy. Normally a brand wants you to wear 1000 shoes just once, while the opposite is true for Visvim. The more you use their products, the more they will become your own, hence why they will become better. How come you may ask? Won't it get broken? Won't it get dirty and old? While I understand your concern, I can relieve you that this won't be the case with Visvim. The things they produce are meant to withstand time. It all started with what is a good product. Note that I'm not speaking on Visvim's behalf, I'm just educating you on my very own understanding and knowledge. Let's speak about my Visvim FBT Elks. How can someone create a perfect pair of shoes for you? No one can. They don't know you, they don't know your needs, they don't know what you're looking for. Everything will have its drawbacks. You have to accept that no matter what it is, nothing can be perfect for you, only to you. Mr. Nakamura is not trying to create the perfect product for you, he gives you the perfect opportunity. Oftentimes we expect luxury manufacturers to produce something perfect, but how can they? They can only produce something for the masses. This means it cannot fit your lifestyle. You have to make those things fit your lifestyle. This shoe won't empower you, this shoe won't let you stand out. Some shoes give you confidence that what you're wearing is great. Companies do that by advertising and influencing the public opinion. You don't have to be great in order to make a pair of Gucci Aces stand out. This shoe is unpretentious. They are not attention seeking, but if you do give them attention, then you will be rewarded with the soft left and right swinging of the strings which are hanging from the shoe. Stripped down to the essence, but still being somewhat poetic. This shoe embodies, be here now, pay maximum attention to this very moment. This shoe lets you express yourself while not empowering yourself comparing you with others. No one will know the richness of philosophy you're wearing. Thank you so much for watching the little bit more serious type of video. Um, now here comes a more personal take on the Visvim FPT. First of all, I just love how they connect Wabi Zabi, how Visvim actually connected Wabi Zabi with their shoe. Well, regardless of that, um, just want to talk like a little bit about the shoe itself. So obviously every obviously every shoe comes with a box, normal standard cardboard white box. Okay, a very nice cloth, aka shoe bag, and the inside is very soft. It's actually nice for traveling. Um, but otherwise, I don't really use shoe bags. I don't know who stores their shoes in shoe bags all the time, but I don't do that. So um, ha, hmm. oh, it's gone. It's actually on my shoulder. Fuck. <laughs> This shoe is obviously white, it is made out of elk leather, 
Um, the leather is extremely soft. The flap here is on the inside. Oh my god, it is just like a oh, so soft, man. Really love that. Also, it is very nicely constructed. Every stitching is done very well. Also, the shoe itself um, is sticked on a um, rubber sole. It's just a basic vibrant sole. On, they have some like this little visum detail up here, but um, nothing to write home about. This leather though scratches relatively easily. I have already a little scratch in it. I didn't wear them too much. But um, as I said, I like it when the shoe actually tells a story and it isn't just boring and um, yeah. Mm, yeah, dirty ain't boring apparently, huh? Haha, <laughs> that sounds so wrong. So these shoes are actually um, meant to wear worn barefoot. They also have these little holes inside of the shoe and um, it is very nice to actually wear them barefoot. Um, it's a, that's why it's also very nice to wear them in summer. Uh, the material is rebreathable, leather is breathable, and also it doesn't smell um, if you wear it and you have sweaty feet. I usually have sweaty feet, and let me do the sniff test. I'm joking, they obviously do not smell. So, uh, also, the laces, they have waxed laces. Okay, yeah, yeah. then let's just talk about the pros and cons really quick, okay? Um, I mean, obviously, you know what the pro is, they are very unique. They don't scream, hey, I'm a rich kid, okay? Like a lot of Gucci shoes. And oh, yeah, man, says a freaking guy with a. What does he have in the back of his room? A Gucci bag. Ha ha ha, hypocrite, man, what the hell? But I swear it's not for me, it's for someone else, it's a present, so um, uh, don't come at me, please. Oh, wait, it keeps saying Gucci. I mean, every Balenciaga, you name it. Basically, all the brands, you know, they're very. Like, look at my shoes, it's like a status symbol. I think these do not count as a status symbol because most people don't know what you're wearing. And I think that's definitely a positive thing if you're a bit understated. I actually like it that people, that nowadays you can even invest in your philosophy with clothing. And I think Wabi Zabi is a beautiful concept about not being as wasteful, of focusing on the essential things, and that you can actually embrace your philosophy instead of embracing your money. So let's talk about the negative actually of this shoe. So the only really negative I have is that this is a 690 euro shoe and that the sole is glued to the upper. And I think with a shoe of this price range, it is actually expected to have stitching on it. Um, I just want to quickly do a shout out for this book here. Um, I actually... Um, read this book before I made this video, especially about the Wabi Zabi part. And I just love this concept and I can recommend it for everyone. Um, just to have a quick read, it's just, it's not even a lot of pages, maybe like 80 pages. It takes two hours to read it, really. Um, but it is a very great book and um, yeah, it kind of um, goes a bit deeper than what I said in the video, obviously. So. Have a read on this book, and I thank you so much for watching. Need, 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 need. Wait, wait, wait. I think I should do a proper conclusion with this shoe. So this shoe costs 690 euros, and I think if you're looking at that price range, you're obviously not only buying for materials and craftsmanship, you're also buying for the way it makes you feel. I think when you nowadays buy a luxury product, it is about the way it makes you feel and the way it makes you think, and not only about how it looks. And I think that's especially true with this brand. Viswim isn't a fashion house which has a 200 year history like Hermès or Louis Vuitton, but I think they do a very good job of having a very good brand philosophy and this is why they are so successful with their brand. I wish more brands would actually think about what happens to their product when it's being worn. And I love that Viswim thinks that their product is actually becoming more beautiful the more it is worn. So I love this this aspect of this film. Anyways, I thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it. I hope to see you around next time and until then, take care. Maybe I should also add that this video wasn't scripted really, so um, just the beginning, so maybe it was a bit random, but well, I hope you still liked it. See you!